Okay, morning, folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday, the 5th of August. Um, just looking at that, I think there's um, six, well, 67 people on the uh, on the Zoom briefing today, so must be expecting a good day. You know, let's hope the weather doesn't disappoint. Um, this is the overnight chart, uh, just to show you how this high pressure is now progressing across us. It's building in uh, quite nicely. Pressure's risen um, about eight or nine millibars uh, over the last 12 hours. Uh, so it's yeah, going definitely in the right direction, stabilizing things out a little bit um, and bringing in a northwesterly airflow. Uh, the isobars are fairly well spaced, so uh, winds at flying heights, no more than 10 to 15 knots. Um, odd kinks in the sort of other, other charts I, I've looked at. So there may be some variance in the uh, the local winds during the day, but generally uh, northwesterly flow. So the TAFs um, just gives us a, a flavor of what's going on. Um, 349 knots, yeah, so you know, six to 10 knots uh, from the Northwest uh, on the airfield, I think for the day. Uh, Cav OK, and a lot of places are giving Cav OK, but further northwest, Gloucester, Brise, um, out that way, sort of saying um, few and scattered at four and a half. Um, so gives an idea of the cumulus definitely out in that direction. Uh, upper winds, yeah, northwesterly, they're saying 15 knots, middle of the country. Um, yeah. Possibly, I think that's at max, really. I don't think it's going to be any stronger than that, perhaps a bit less, uh, looking at the other forecast. And the sap pick is um, pretty clear over the southern half of the UK. These are showers running across here, um, a line. It might even be a, a small trough line that's just running across, um, really from sort of Manchester to the Humber around that area, quite intense showers. But in this area, both the visual and the infrared clear. Temperatures building uh, quite nicely. Uh, I had a look at various sites on what the temperature is going to be today. I think this is, is probably about right, 22, 23 around us. BBC are suggesting just 21. Uh, I think that's slightly low looking at the other, other sites, but southern half of the the country and working on 22, yeah, in some places 23, a bit warmer down on the south coast uh, today. And dew points, right, here's the interesting bits. Yeah, dew points, they're forecasting threes. Well, they got down to five last night uh, around us. Um, as you would expect, as the sun comes up, dew point goes up. But it's now started falling again, according to the Lashon Weather Station. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're not looking at uh, uh, dew points around here at about you know, two and three, maybe even a bit lower than that. And that's quite a big um, temperature split. And certainly uh, then sort of plugging those sort of numbers into the soundings, um, you're getting the potential for uh, very, very, uh, high cloud bases. If you look at that, I mean, that's 22 degrees there. Dew points down here at about three. So it's going to be 6,000 feet plus the potential for 7,000 feet um, with small amounts of cumulus in here. Um, other forecasts are sort of suggesting um, blue here. For most of the day and, and cumulus to the northwest. I think we're going to see cumulus um, here around the Lasham area from late morning lunchtime is my, my gut feeling. Looking further northwest, um, not quite so high, slightly different picture, 12 o'clock. That's sort of set about four and a half to five thousand feet at one o'clock. Um, the two lines up here just a little bit closer together than they were on the other one. And definitely close together here with a with an inversion. Um, so I can sort of see where top media are, are getting the sort of risk of spread out in places further to the northwest um, from. But it would have to be, I think, a fair way northwest 
uh, the slightly damper air. Uh, the Lark Hill suggests that you need about 15, 16 degrees to break this, but once it goes, uh, it really will go quite well. There's a potential for 20 degrees to be in excess of 2,000 meters, certainly in excess of 6,500 feet. Uh, and with the dew points uh, down at this sort of area, yeah, you're gonna have small amounts of cumulus um, up in here at about, say, 6,500 feet. Showing a small inversion here, whether that's going to cause any spread out or whether that will slowly just sort of fade out um, during the day, hard to say. I'd like to see the, uh, the sort of 10 o'clock Lark Hill if they do one. But certainly today, high cloud bases once it starts going, folks. Uh, top Meteo, I'll just look at the, the cloud there showing um, by sort of 11 o'clock. Um, cumulus out to the northwest i think we'll we'll start to see by 11 12 o'clock cumulus in this area here and they're showing by um, two o'clock it, it close to us um, and then um, in late mid to late afternoon cumulus over most of the country and they're showing odd little bits of spread out uh, in places thermal heights Certainly think by 11 o'clock it'll be it'll be soarable. By 12, it'll probably be going to 4,000 feet, and they're soaring sort of 15, 1600 meters by uh, by 12 o'clock. Moving on a couple of hours, and they're, they're talking about 2,000 meters, and then a couple of hours after that, at sort of three, four o'clock in the afternoon. That's that's three o'clock in the afternoon around Lasham and out to the northwest, um, 2,200 meters. I think that's probably about right, actually. <laughs> Looking at the, the ascents, it's going to be high. Uh, the variance is, is dew points and how much cloud we're going to get. Um, and that should carry on till late afternoon into the evening. There's no reason why it shouldn't be soarable at six, seven o'clock uh, or even later. Uh, this time of year, half seven. Lots of greens, dark and light greens on the map. So six, 700 K plus uh, forecast for today. If it gets going by 11 o'clock, should be a big day. Um, with that northwesterly breeze as well showing up there. So anywhere really out to the northwest and into the northeast into East Anglia. But I wouldn't go too far um, north, north of a line from the sort of Humber really across to Manchester. So you've got a big play area, really, by the looks of it. I think with the northwesterly, it'll, it'll wipe out the Somerset levels fairly quickly. Um, so it might make it tricky around that area, having to stay well south. Sky site, similar sort of picture, really. Um, there's the height of thermals. Um, that's one o'clock. So 14 to 1600 meters, 1800 meters, and move that on a couple of hours. So three o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, 2000 meters plus. Um, Q depths in the afternoon. More depth the cumulus out to the northwest, and therefore probably more chance of, of spread out in places. Uh, small amounts of Q around us. Um, and their potential flight distance, a similar sort of area, really. Any route into Wales, the Mind, and then out into East Anglia. So, potentially a very, very good day. Okay, doke, okay, right. Airspace wise, um, actually fairly quiet um, on the airspace map. Um, Round us, number 16 is us. We've no timed uh, a busy day at Lashen. 20, 21, they're just paragliding. Um, not relevant to, uh, to us. Uh, and 26 as well, just not notifying paragliding. So the important things, 27, Little Risington, their ATZ is activated today. Um, obviously got Air Cadet flying going on. And 
28 is Dunstable Regionals. Number 33 is Sywell Aerobatics from 11 o'clock to 11.20, an aerobatic session going on there, and that's it in that area. Apart from that, um, fairly quiet. This is just paragliding up through here, up to the Mind, and nothing really going on into East Anglia as well. Uh, I've just put number 35 up. It's the Birmingham uh, Commonwealth Games airspace. Just as a reminder that there are little bits of airspace tagged onto the side of it uh, that you need to be aware of uh, around here. And the little bit just to the northwest that almost covers uh, Hayden Green and down to the southeast. They've just extended what would normally be a, a 1500 foot shelf down to the ground. Uh, not that I think it's going to be an issue for any glider pilots, but it would just mean that power pilots are transiting around this to avoid it into areas that, that we might go. Okay, operationally, um, we'll be operating on 27 grid on the north side, folks, normal place. Got five, five or six tugs today, so it should get rid of the grid um, fairly quickly. Movements wise, um, I've had two flight plans pop up. There's a 727 outbound at 12 o'clock local. Um, and they, they tend to be sort of reasonably on time with those. And a 737 inbound, uh, it's working out at about 1520 at the moment, according to the flight plan. Uh, but that's coming from Zurich, so that one could certainly change. Uh, I'm sure we'll keep you updated on that. Uh, that's about it, really. Just some normal operation with the winch cables set up on the south side of the main runway and the winch on operation uh, on the runway with grid on the north side. Uh, Mike Birch and Sam Cool are running the airfield today because I'm uh, I'm off work at the moment. And I wish you all the best. I shall be sat in my garden watching what's going on.